Imagine this, long trains, cars full of oil barreling through Colorado mountain towns every day. It's a federal plan that is about to become a reality. And with the recent history of derailments, uh, this is causing some big concern. Activists created a website, StopTheUinterBasinRailway.com, in an effort to create awareness. Today, Colorado U.S. Senator Michael Bennett, Colorado Congressman Joe Nagoose, both Democrats, joined local leaders to inform the public of the dangers they believe this plan brings to the state. Nine News' Steve Steger was there. Glenwood Springs has an economy that's based on tourism, and a lot of that tourism is based on water. The Colorado River is the gem of this region, the whole state and beyond. This is the river for 40 million people in the American West. This group of local, state, and federal elected leaders are here to warn against another potential threat. We're all here today to say the oil trains from Uinta Basin are not welcome in Colorado. Seven counties in Utah have banded together to build a railway to connect the resource-rich Uinta Basin to the National Rail Network. This project could bring as many as five mile-long trains a day along this 100-mile stretch along the Colorado River. The concern, obviously, is what happens if the train derails, sending waxy crude into the headways of the Colorado. The other concern, the risk of wildfire in a canyon that just experienced it. This canyon is a very fragile place. We've had the Grizzly Creek fire. We've had uh, climate change uh, induced floods, uh, rock slides. They're calling on the Biden administration to study the impact of sending these trains through Colorado. We've seen far too many derailments recently to know that it is possible. We know that this will be catastrophic to have an incident here, not only because of the river, but also because we have the train tracks next to homes. The company building the railway didn't respond to our request for comment today, but in the past, they've criticized environmental concerns, saying that hardened crude is easier to clean up than other materials. Not enough to ease these concerns. Imagine the degradation of this river. Imagine the ecosystems impacted. Imagine the people, the communities impacted if a disaster were to occur. In Glenwood Springs, Steve Stake, 9 News. Now, the U.S. Forest Service has not issued special use authorization to build railroad tracks through the National Forest for this project, while the federal government has done an environmental impact study on how this train may impact Utah. Senator Bennett points out the study did not look at what it could mean for Colorado, and he wants the EPA to look into that as well.